It's about safeguarding our natural capital for current and future generations, as human activity continues to devastate plant and animal life as we know it. Back the history, we cannot turn back the sands of time, but we can actively work towards instilling our, in our young people a keen appreciation and respect for the abundant fauna and flora that existed millions of years ago before humankind who actually walked on this earth. Malewa encouraged her international audience to make young people partners, calling for an integrated approach in safeguarding the world's precious heritage as goal 15 of the SDGs that calls for an end to poaching and trafficking was brought into sharp focus. Approach that involves various government institutions working in unison because it's quite important to work in unison with private sector, with local communities, and indeed with civil society is beginning to bear some fruits. As such, is evidenced by the latest comparative decline in the rhino poaching. We are not celebrating yet, but there's constant uh, uh, decline in the uh, rhino poaching statistics and even the picture itself, but because of working together. Over the past 40 years, the world has lost approximately 50% of its wildlife, with over 16,000 species currently considered endangered or threatened by extinction. It's a really important role to play as responsible consumers and agents of change. Today, we are asking for their awareness and engagement. Young conservation leaders are already making positive impacts around the world. They are important wildlife defenders. In South Africa, many members of the all-female Black Mamba anti-poaching unit are youth. They are fighting on the front line every day to protect wildlife, and they are an inspiration for walking the talk. It calls here for all member states to urgently implement fully various conventions that tackle the demand and supply of wildlife and biodiversity. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.